welcome to the Jet Setter Show, where we explore lifestyle-friendly destinations worldwide. Enjoy and learn from a variety of experts on topics ranging from upscale travel at wholesale prices to retiring overseas, to global real estate and business opportunities, to tax havens and expatriate opportunities. You'll get great ideas on unique cultures, causes, and cruise vacations. Whether you're wealthy or just want to live a wealthy lifestyle, The Jet Setter Show is for you. Here's your host, Jason Hartman. Welcome to The Jet Setter Show. This is Jason Hartman, your host, where we explore lifestyle-friendly destinations worldwide. I think you'll enjoy the interview we have for you today, and we will be back with that in less than 60 seconds here on The Jet Setter Show. What's great about the shows you'll find on jasonhartman.com is that if you want to learn more about investing in real estate in different markets, there's a show for that. If you want to learn 17 ways rich people think and act differently, there's a show for that. If you want to know how to get paid to borrow, there's a show for that. And if you'd like to know why Amsterdam doesn't take dollars or why pools are for fools, there are even shows for that. Yep, there's a show for just about anything. Only from jasonhartman.com or type in Jason Hartman in the iTunes store. It's my pleasure to welcome Robert Tuckman to the show. He is the president of Go Viva. Their tagline is World of Experiences, and he plans all sorts of amazing lifestyle events for budget travelers and high-end travelers who want VIP access. We'll hear about that. He's also the founder and former president of TSE Sports and Entertainment, and I think he'll bring some interesting ideas to us today. Robert, welcome. How are you? Hey, I'm doing great. Thanks so much for having me. Good, good. Well, looking at your website, wow, Fashion Week Getaway, Homestyle Cooking with uh, Chief Rick Bayless, Behind the Scenes at Cirque du Soleil, the Maui Music Festival, the Kentucky Derby. Just sign me up for all of these things, okay? <laughs> uh, you know, the next Super Bowl, baseball all-star games, I mean, country music awards, wow, <laughs> PGA tours, some awesome stuff you do, you know, stuff everybody just has probably got on their bucket list. But give us a little background, if you would, and, and before you even do that, Robert, I like to give my listeners a sense of geography. Where are you located today? So I'm located out of New York City. Um, that's where our corporate office is. So being based here, it's kind of a good central point, too, because we travel to all these events across you know, the world, really, uh, in terms of you know, some of the events that we put together for companies and individuals. Really, what we do, it's a bucket list of experiences, and those take place all over the world. Fantastic, fantastic. Well, how did you start? Did you, 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 did you get your start on the on the golf side, really? Was that kind of the big start? Well, golf's always been a huge one of our experiences. You know, everyone wants to go to the Masters or the British Open or U.S. Open, and we've always had a huge following in terms of people that love to go watch golf, so we really became experts. We've been putting together packages to the Masters and events like that, you know, for over 15 years, so that's always been one that's uh, a real big one. And give us some samples of some of your different trips. I mean, the Kentucky Derby is coming right up. The show may not even air till after that, but it's coming up. I mean, what do you arrange? I mean, you really tailor it to the budget, or um, do you have a certain angle? Yeah, that's that's a good question. I mean, we could arrange uh, trips at any budget, really, you know, usually depending upon the event, some of them can be a little bit expensive. It really, you know, at the end of the day, it depends where you sit, what hotel you want to stay at. That's a driver of price as well. But we have general set packages. Like if you go to our website, um, goviva.com, you can see our general packages on there, but we're able to customize those. So if you wanted to add on limousine transportation or a meet and greet with a famous athlete or dinners or, you know, you want to sit in the best seats, we can customize each package to fit a customer's exact needs. And can you really, I mean, I've done some meets and greets at concerts, you know, where they take all the people in the back, you can meet the meet the, uh, the rock stars, if you will. And uh, I mean, can you buy the meet and greets or is that something you just use your connections? No, pretty much it's our connections. I mean, there's no value or it's hard to buy, let's say, an athlete, you know, to do an appearance or to have a special intimate evening or event with that person. So really that's kind of uh, 
part of what we do where you really can't put a value on that. So, uh, yeah, I think that the key thing is really with what we do and, and look for is we try and create these customized experiences that are, you know, stuff you can't really buy. Although I guess you can buy it because we sell it. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, that, that's a good point. Good. Yeah. Okay. So tell us more. Sure. I mean, uh, you know, the events that we do and experiences range from, as we're talking about Kentucky Derby or Super Bowl, and we start to, you know, doing a lot more uh, culinary events now, dinners and, you know, weekends where you tour uh, different cities and eat at celebrity chef restaurants with meet and greets by the chefs. We have all types of cool lifestyle type trips like that now. And then, of course, all the major events, whether it's you know, award shows, or if it is the World Cup or the Olympics. I mean, really every bucket list event we put together. And are most of your events within the U.S. or are, are some of them international? No, 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 international. Uh, a lot of the stuff we do is based outside of the U.S. I mean, I would say maybe 50, 60 percent here in the U.S., and then the other ones, you know, if it's an Olympics, if it's the British Open, Wimbledon, it could be, you know, a big rugby match. We do it all, you know, throughout the world. Uh, there's so many great events outside of the U.S. There's a lot of good ones in it, so we really do it all. Fantastic. And do you handle the transportation? Do you? I mean, are you almost like a travel agency as well, where you book people's air oh, yeah. and so we forth? We do everything. Yeah, Ab- okay. absolutely. Yeah, we get we get really we get dirty. We do it all from, you know, start to finish. Do, do they end up, I take it, even though you say you have budget things, I, I take it just by the bucket list nature of some of these things that they're, they're fairly high-end experiences. Are you able to get a better deal than someone would get booking these things on their own and trying to piece them and cobble them together? Yeah, I mean, for sure, there's definitely, it's about access. It's about knowing who to go to. I think more importantly, it's about making sure you're using the right people that when you get there, your tickets show up or, you know, the hotel reservation is real. I mean, there's, there's a lot of things that go into when people put these programs together on their own that they might not know about certain events. So for sure, I think an important part is that we're able to get better pricing, but also that we know it's legit. So that, that's a real big issue, especially with these big sporting events that tickets get delivered at the last moment. Um, That's always been one of the concerns. Yeah, right, right. And some of those tickets can be fake, certainly. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Well, no, there's unfortunately a lot of issues with that. That's why I'd always advise whether it's us or using, you know, a reputable company that can make sure that, you know, you know who you're contracting with. Yeah, fantastic. Well, I don't want to diverge into this too much, but I've just got to ask you, Tiger Woods, people ask you a question frequently about, about Tiger Woods at the Masters and how it relates to business, you know, if there are some takeaways for business success. You know, that that's a great question. Tiger Woods is great for business. Uh, I mean, he's really, people want to go see him play. There's no doubt since he's come into the tour, the Masters itself, I mean, just the, the event itself and attendance and from a hospitality standpoint, what's gone on in Augusta has paralleled with his rise there. So he's great for business, no doubt it. I mean, uh, that's why I root for him. But he he made the somewhat controversial statement recently about how winning takes care of everything, and he he got a little flack for that, didn't he? Yeah, well, you know, rightfully so. I don't think winning, I I think that's a real poor judgment, what him and Nike came out with and said that it doesn't take care of everything. There's, you know, there's there's bigger things than winning. But it definitely takes care of, uh, you know, people wanting to go see him play, you know, if you look at it just from golfing. And that's why the Masters did so well this year. Um, And I think, you know, he was a big part of the reason for a resurgence, you know, this year as opposed to the last couple of years. And and so some of the other professional athlete stories, I mean, you've got them because you have contact with these people. You have access that the general public doesn't get. Do you want to share any other stories or lessons or takeaways from any of your other experiences with uh, maybe not just athletes, but famous people in general? Well, we do a ton with, I mean, most of our programs, we include you know, a dinner or a meet and greet with a famous athlete. This year at the Super Bowl, we had Daryl Johnston, the former Dallas Cowboy, and Merrill Hodge, uh, former uh, Pittsburgh Steeler. Uh, They're both announcers now. And, you know, we'll do a meet and greet with our clients, with them prior. And it's that inside access, that inside information that's part of each of our experiences where you really feel like you're getting something that you can't buy. And, uh, I mean, we work, we've worked with everyone from Charles Barkley to Terry Bradshaw to, 
I mean, even nowadays we work with famous chefs, uh, famous movie producers who really help us create these really cool experiences. And if you go to our website in terms of some of the stuff that we do on the site, you'll see that we have a lot of opportunities with individuals like that. Well, any advice to entrepreneurs in terms of, you know, you're a business person, you've got a successful company going, anything you want to share there? I think just you got to keep following your passion, you know, and put enough time and effort into it, make it obsessive, and uh, you'll do well. In terms of the travel business, you've combined sort of, you know, a lot of value add to the travel by creating these these experiences. When you look at the travel industry, I mean, the internet killed the traditional travel agent, didn't it? Yeah, I, th- I think I think if you look at it in terms of um, what happened there. Uh, you found that people started to just go online and book stuff. But I, I think you, what I've noticed, especially I use a travel agent, is I think a lot of people are going back to travel agents these days because when you look at the quick booking online or whatever it might be, sometimes there's a lot of value that a travel agent can add. So I've noticed and also just the hassle and service and I've noticed a little bit of a trend of people going back that way. Yeah, and I agree, especially for complex trips. If you want to go spend a month in Europe and you've got multiple destinations, it's just too hard to do it yourself. <laughs> it, it it really is. So they, they definitely have some value. But in terms of what Goviva does, I mean, just give us any more insights about it or any really unique trips and experiences that people can take advantage of. Sure. I mean, I think the key ones are just, if you could think it, we could probably put it together. But if you saw our sites like on Goviva.com, you know, there's stuff where you can train with a marathon champion. You can have dinner at uh, a famous chef's house. You could, you know, have your own private concert with a Grammy Award winner in their, their his apartment. Uh, I mean, there's just cool stuff like that. And then there's, you know, events you've always wanted to attend, like the Tony Awards or the Super Bowl or the Masters. We can make that happen. So it's really all about those kind of bucket list type experiences. And so you do custom things for people. If they if oh, they, yeah. if they oh, think yeah. of it, then you'll do it for them as well, right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We we can create I mean, you dream it, we could do it. We're the best at what we do in that respect for sure. Can you give us some examples of some clients that have come to you and said, Hey, I want to do this crazy outlandish thing and, and you've set it up for them? Let's think what we have. Yeah, we had uh, recently a group that wanted to go to Bhutan and just do some crazy, you know, hiking and stuff over there. And we created something along those lines. Bhutan? Yeah, Bhutan. Where's Bhutan? I mean, I thought I've, I've been to 65 countries. I've never Bhutan even heard is. of Bhutan. You know yeah. what? I have no, to be quite frank with you, our head event person put it together who knows everything about every country in the world. And it was for these two guys who... Uh, our graduate students now, and they uh, actually were looking to do a really cool trip like that, and you know, a kind of like graduation present type thing. It's a settlement on the island of Aruba. I if it's the uh, right one. Aruba. Yeah, there you yeah. go. There you wow. I'd rather just go to Aruba and play <laughs> yeah. poker, to be honest yeah. with you. <laughs> Yeah, that's fantastic. Well, I can imagine someone's probably come to you and said, I want to do a James Bond trip, now that you mentioned poker or baccarat, as the case may be, and do the whole Casino Real trip. That's uh, that's interesting. But what What's the average per person price, if you know it, of your experiences? Good question. I mean, it's, it really varies because each experience is kind of done differently. But Say fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars. Well, that's that's not very expensive. I know. It, I mean, that includes the tra- that can't include the travel expense, though. Nah, that's average when you take everything. I mean, Super Bowl it could be five thousand dollars. Masters could be that high, but mostly, I would say in that range, you know, anywhere from uh, a couple thousand dollars to depending upon where you're going to sit. I mean, yeah, it's not it's not terrible. I mean, in terms of pricing, it's it could be done. It could be done. Yeah, fantastic. What else would you like people to know and give out your website again or any resources that you want to direct them to? I appreciate that. It's goviva.com. And I think that the big thing, and that's www.goviva.com. And it's really, it's just all about any type of bucket list experience you can imagine, adventure, uh, lifestyle, anything that you can imagine you've ever wanted to do, wanted to go to. We pretty much create it on this site. That's what's really cool about it. And and you can try us too if you've always thought about something, if you have something that people would like. You know, we, we take a lot of uh, requests and stuff. We work with partners. So let us know. Again, it's goviva.com. Fantastic. Robert Tuckman, thanks for joining us. Well, I appreciate having me on the show today.
This show is produced by the Hartman Media Company, all rights reserved. For distribution or publication rights and media interviews, please visit www.hartmanmedia.com or email media at hartmanmedia.com. Nothing on this show should be considered specific personal or professional advice. Please consult an appropriate tax, legal, real estate, or business professional for individualized advice. Opinions of guests are their own, and the host is acting on behalf of Platinum Properties Investor Network, Inc., exclusively.